Oh, it's still, uh, still very sad at the demise of, the, of such an iconic brand, to be honest. Um, it's a shame after, yeah, if you go right back to, to the beginning, 160 years, but even in terms of being Australia's you know, first, first uh, and only homegrown car really since after World War II. There's still plenty of history and it's sad to see the, um, the drawing to, the, to a conclusion of that, uh, of that chapter. Well, what do you think this means for the supercars in Australia? Um, it'll mean some change uh, and uh, undoubtedly we'll see some change coming up. Um, I'm not going to tell you what that change is at the moment. But you'll see some change. Will we see the Holden brand or badge possibly, possibly change in the future? Well, the, whole, the Holden brand will disappear at, uh, by the end of this year. So we won't see. Yeah, you, you might see Holdens running around in the in the uh, lesser categories, the Super Two category and beyond, for, for some years to come. Uh, but you won't see the Holden brand uh, as a predominant brand in supercars next in 2021. So when you say that, could we still see Commodores racing in supercars next year just without the branding? Uh, yeah, conceivably, because the homologation, as it were, from supercars will be valid for several more years, uh, even after, as it always is, you know, if you remember with the, with the Falcon, even after they stopped the production of the car and its availability to the public, it carried on racing for several years. You, you'll deal with Holdens until the end of next year. Are you going to receive that support next year or will that sort of cease at the end of this season? Yeah, I mean, the ongoing situation at the moment, I'm, uh, I'm meeting with GM this week and, and we'll discuss what happens. Until, until then, there's nothing more to be, to be said, really. It's a discussion between me and them. When will you be meeting with GM? This week. Sorry, I missed the start there, but did this come as a shock? Were you blindsided by this? Look, uh, the timing, uh, uh, the timing of this was uh, uh, was definitely a surprise. Um, it obviously, as a, somebody who's very aware of the of the motor industry on a on a larger uh, platform on a world basis, the the lack of sort of sort of real right hand drive plans going ahead was a, a concern. But there was, a, uh, you know, there were some new models that. Um, were in the pipeline from what we could see which gave us reassurance but um, it is what it is it's you know we're a very small market in Australia uh, and uh, competing for the attention against uh, much, much bigger markets so the decisions that affect the car industry on a wider basis are not made in Australia you know they're made in in, in Japan or they're made in Detroit or they're made in, in Germany. Roland how much do we need manufacturer support or can we go to a more NASCAR sort of style where it's not about that win on Sunday, sell on Monday mentality that now seems outdated? Well NASCAR has an incredible amount of manufacturer support and they're actually making their cars more and more like ours uh, to try and have the recognition of the, uh, of the vehicle that um, is closer to, to that which people buy. So that's not a good, um, that's, that's not, not a good comparison to be honest. Um, we, we want to carry on racing cars that represent uh, what the Australian public has shown they, they enjoy watching, which are supercars, latterly Australian touring cars over, over 60 odd years. And we've, and we've got to keep uh, delivering um, a product along those lines. And I think collectively as a category we will. Well, what sort of car models would be suitable to racing in the future? Oh, look, who knows? There, there are plenty of possibilities out there. I'm not going to speculate on what those are today. Have you I, I'm not going to speculate what those are. Have you spoken to your team and the, the drivers? What have their reactions been? Yeah, no, I, I had very little chance to talk to them, to be honest, because most of them are travelling yesterday uh, d down here. But uh, I've certainly made them aware of what's going on, and um, I hope they believe in me. Uh, and they'll wait and wait and see what happens. What's the morale like going into the Adelaide race? Good, good. I mean, we're a race team. We've uh, try and do our work properly as a as a race team, like all the other ones up and down here, and we crack on with the job in hand. What's your early um, indications today? How's it all going? 
Uh, it, honestly, it's impossible to tell because there are uh, teams using, you know, we're using different timing points to other people, uh, etc. So uh, there, there won't be any conclusions really from today about performance. You'll see it, you'll see it the, oh, not only over this coming weekend, but over the next three weekends where everyone is. The Holden versus Ford rivalry has sort of been the corner of stone of this sport for a very long time. Yeah. Do you expect that the support for the category will suffer without Holden there? Uh, not if we do uh, collectively as, as the category, um, uh, do our homework properly. I, I think that we can, we can still provide the excitement and the, uh, honestly, the show that, that people have come to expect over, over many years. And unfortunately, you know, one of the issues is an awful lot of people who've been barracking for, for the Holden brand over the last uh, 10 years or so haven't actually been buying the product. And uh, for whatever reason, you know, and so uh, it's a fact of life that a lot of people have been turning up to watch the races in other brands. So um, it's something we're all we're all very aware of. So you know, times change, and we've got to change with them. I'm not going to speculate on what we're doing next season at the moment. And what does this mean for Gen Three? Uh, yeah, again, I'm not going to comment on that until we've uh, till we've sat down and analysed it all with supercars over a week or two. Does, does this change your suggestions to supercars about what way a Gen 3 should go? No, not necessarily. We'll, we'll wait and see how it all how it all comes together in the, in the coming days. And I know you're meeting with GM next week. Is there anything you're going to no, put No, I said I'm meeting with them this week. This week? Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, is there anything that you're going to put forward to them? That's, with them? <coughs> that's for me and them to know.